Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday and it has been already the Mondayest Monday. Like, I feel like everything's going wrong in a way. First off, being that I had a grad session this morning, it was a two hour long grad session and my battery was at like 40% and I forgot all my batteries at home. Like they were charging on the charging dock because it was like my first session of the week and I was freaking the freak out. I didn't tell my grad because rule number one, don't let your client know that you're freaking out if you can fix it, which luckily Ryan came to save the day. He brought my batteries to me and literally it was like it didn't happen. So thank God for Ryan. Um, but then I forgot to eat before my appointment that I'm having right now in literally four minutes. Um, and that appointment is to get lip filler and I honestly never thought I would be doing this, but I do have a credit on my account with Dr. Givens, and I was like looking through her services, and I was like, you know what? Why not try a little bit of lip filler for just like a little hydration plump? So I wanted to take you guys through that process with me because I'm like so nervous and also really excited. I like saved a bunch of pictures of people's lips that I really liked that are more natural because I not trying to go crazy definitely don't want like duck lips but this is my before it's feeling a little crusty because i didn't want to put any lip balm or lip liner so i could show you guys my before but these are my lips <laughs> and i just want a little more so i'm very curious to see how they're going to turn out i ran to the chick-fil-a drive through got some fries to scarf them down because i've seen like tiktoks where it says like you have to eat beforehand so i tried to eat them really fast but now I feel like just like really stressed because I've been like running around all morning um, and it doesn't stop there because I have a shoot after this then I can't remember maybe I have like a little bit of a break but then I have an, my third shoot in the evening because tomorrow it's gonna be raining so I rescheduled one of my grads that was supposed to go tomorrow to this afternoon so we are just going going today I'm a little worried that I'm going to be like super bruised. I also tried to drink pineapple juice before, um, like last night to hopefully not bruise as much, but I didn't start researching until like yesterday. So I didn't see that you could have taken Arnica pills two days before and two days after. So I might just run to like CVS when I have a break and like get some gel, Arnica gel or Arnica pills. I don't know really. I'll see what they recommend, but let's go in. I'm so excited. All right, this is just the um, numbing cream that goes on the outside of the lips prior. We'll let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm with Dr. <laughs> Gibbons, and she's telling me all about lip fillers since yes. it's my first time. So since it's her first time, I go over quite a few things. Mm -hmm. So one of them is that do expect some, they're going to look great right after, but then they're going to swell, and they will swell for about 24 to 48 hours, and don't freak out when that okay. happens. So <laughs> icing is great. Okay. Um, you want to try to avoid drinking wine in the next 48 hours because that's some high histamines in that that can increase swelling. Mm -hmm. And then over that next week, you may have some asymmetry that's sitting in there, but you've got to give it a full two weeks and you'll okay. kind of have that final result between two and four weeks. Okay. And if it's something that you're great, happy, wonderful, and if you feel like you want just a touch more, then we can put a little bit more in, but I feel really to make it look good for your face yeah. so it's natural. Okay. Yay. I'm excited. They're numb. <laughs> I actually look crazy right now and I can barely move my lips, but this is what it looks like straight after she injected them. She said they're gonna be swollen for at least two days and then I'll only see the final results two to four weeks after. And I was so surprised with how bad it hurts. Like I feel like no one really talks about how stinking bad it hurts. Like the numbing cream, I'm like, was it gonna hurt worse than that if I didn't have the numbing cream? Oh my goodness. I definitely shed a tear too. A little embarrassing, but it's okay. We got it done and it didn't take that long. So that was kind of nice. I'm gonna like touch up my lips, maybe like put some makeup. I brought some makeup with me because I'm off to another shoot. Luckily it's a girl I know and one of my friends. So I won't be too embarrassed. But after that, I have a grad shoot and I don't know that girl. Guys, my lips look like they're balloons. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> but I'm with Beejal and we're shooting in Sea Home area. 
And for my next shoe, I literally need a mask. Like, God bless these lips. <laughs> but our photos are turning out really, really good, even though it turned out to be really sunny in the middle of the day, which I know normally don't really shoot during the middle of the day, but I thought it was gonna be overcast, but we're finding some really cute spots. We just ended the shoot and look how overcast it is right now. Like the whole shoot, it was so nice. Blue skies everywhere and I cannot believe this. It was like so perfect, too perfect. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is a very rainy day in Austin and I had to cancel both of my shoots for today. I rescheduled them for um, some other days, but I feel like it's a little bit of a blessing in disguise so I can do a lot of admin work and like crank out some photo editing and so I can get some galleries out to clients. Um, but here are the lips one day post getting fillers. I mean, they're still swollen, but not as bad as what I went to bed with. So this is what they look like. And I did put makeup on, I did put like lip liner and everything like that to make them look a little bit better. Um, but I'm hoping that the swelling goes down by tomorrow. I think that she said like two days and they'll be looking pretty good. Um, so I'm excited to see the final results. I'm like getting impatient, but we are going to check out a new coffee shop this morning. It's called Simona's and it's located at, I wanna say the Colton Hotel which is more of like a boutique hotel. I'm meeting up with my friend Caitlin. We're gonna have a little catch up. I can't wait to like do more coffee catch ups because I feel like I haven't seen like my content creator friend in so long because of grad season. Cheers. Yay. I got a little vanilla chai. I'm here with Caitlin. So good. I haven't I seen you since so um, yeah. you cut your bangs. They're so freaking cute. Thank you, my new era, my bang era. <laughs> I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> Look at this place. Very cool. I feel like it's so quiet. Like, so if you cute. need a quiet coffee shop, y'all come I know, here. No one knows about this. We're not telling anyone. I know, <laughs> except for my um, except for you. followers on YouTube. <laughs> so you're welcome, guys. <laughs> I'm getting on a call and I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm gonna tell you guys what it's all about after, but I feel like I can poop my pants right now. I was just telling Sally, me, Brian, and Jordana are all on the autumn team, um, and we are putting on this event with. Amazon and you two are our panelists that we've selected so just wanted you guys to meet each other amazing and kind of just wanted to use this time to go through any questions that you guys have so we are still finalizing our like exact run of show mm -hmm. but basically the event starts at six my freaking wi-fi went out <laughs> during it so I missed like three minutes of the nine minute call which was so much faster than I thought it would be um but very exciting news like things just keep happening and it's like amazing um but i am going to new york next week with amazon um and i'm going to be speaking on a freaking panel and it's for asian pacific american heritage month apparently it's this like intimate dinner and me and one of the other girls are going to have a q a panel um talking about amazon influencer program and asian sellers on amazon so I am just so freaking excited. You guys don't even know. When I got the email, I was like, what the actual heck? Because I think it was literally the Monday after I got back from California when I went to the Beverly Hills Hotel with Amazon. So that was like their spring um, favorites event. And so this is definitely a smaller scale event. I am so excited because I you know, get to go back to New York and I really didn't think I would be back this soon. And that means I get to see my friend, Laura. If you guys are an OG vlog watcher, you guys would know that she was my roommate in college for two years. And I saw her last December for the first time, like four years. And so it's kind of crazy that within six months, I'm gonna be seeing her two times. So, and hopefully, you know, I go to New York more often, starting now, we'll see. But um, yeah, so that's very, very exciting stuff. I leave on Monday and the event is on Thursday. So if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, now is the freaking time because I'm going to be posting so much fun New York content and all about this event. So go follow me. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. Kind of love that that call was so short because I have so much to do. A lot of editing today. If I have time today, I'll edit a vlog, but I really want to get like as many grad client photos out, like their galleries to them. Um, and what really sucks is that this week was supposed to be like my last official week of like doing two every single day pretty much, but it's disgusting outside. I had to cancel both my shoots today, which obviously it's not raining because 
I think I've said this multiple times, but every time I reschedule someone, it never rains. And I should know by now, honestly. But it was sprinkling a little bit this morning, and obviously I don't want my grad to like be even the lightest bit sprinkled on because that just means it's going to be humid and then the hair, you know, reacts and it's just not fun. So I had to reschedule two other people, which means I'll probably be shooting on the weekend, which is not my favorite thing to do, but I want to at least get them in the calendar before I go to New York. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out currently. Happy Thursday, guys. We're almost to Friday and today I had a shoot early in the morning. Thank God it's finally sunny. And I didn't have to reschedule my shoots and I have one today at 6 p.m. I think it's currently like 2 p.m. or something. And so I have a good amount of time to film and I'm feeling a little bit more energetic today, which is great because I just feel like I have a lot of just random piles like you guys saw either in the last vlog or this vlog, I can't remember. But just like I create piles of things that I want to film with. So trying to just get through that today. First video I shot was for Goriana where I get Pretty much all of my gold jewelry and i thought it would be fun to pair it with a more like cool day outfit and this cover-up is actually from amazon so i wanted to share it with you guys because i know you guys love a good amazon find and this is just so flattering i have on a swimsuit from monday swimmer underneath it this look is just perfect for like a pool party it's just a little bit more elevated especially with all of like the gold jewelry also i feel like my fashion content right now on tiktok is doing well and i want to do more of that so if i have time today i'm going to style some outfits together and like take photos of them in my like mirror I want everything to be consistent because I have um like sat through so many random like webinars over the past month I feel like even from the Amazon one um and a lot of people say consistency not like the cadence you post but the consistent backgrounds and videos and like the consistent like wording in your videos is really important so I thought, you know, obviously I love this background. I love these shelves so much. So why not try to stay consistent with that? And I don't know, I'm trying to like not put too much other non-fashion or non-beauty content on my TikTok at least to see what it'll do. Because I feel like before I was posting like random cooking videos and those are amazing and those are fun, but I'll probably just like keep that on my Instagram for now just to see if being a little bit more niche down will help my growth so i'll try to keep you guys updated with that um but right now i'm going to film a revolve haul i'm so freaking excited they wanted to work with me again and this time on tiktok so i have a couple of pieces picked out and i'm just gonna film a tiktok haul so i thought i would show you guys what i got on youtube as well don't mind the ring light wire but here is the first item i got from revolve these are cotton pants and they're straight leg. I think they're a little bit long. I am 5'3". I'm a shorty, so I feel like everything is so long on me. I paired it with this tracker hat, a ribbed swimsuit, and then my um, Louis Vuitton sandals from DHK. <laughs> you guys want the link? I can definitely DM you on Instagram. I feel like I've been finding such good finds on DHK. Last summer, I was right next to a girl that had the real pair, and we were trying to compare, and honestly, like, it looked really, really good compared to the real versions. Here is the next one. I am in love with this. This pattern, like the blue and white stripes, has me in an absolute chokehold. I feel like I have so many things of this kind, but it's a little bit different. It snatches you, but it's also that like effortless button down look. I just did like one tie. I didn't really like do a little bow tie or anything like that. I think it looks cool just how it is right here, but I love that it's like cinched in at the waist. So good. I am so happy that these jeans fit. They actually fit perfectly around my waist. And my main issue with like a lot of my other jean shorts is that they kind of ride up right here, but I feel like there's a lot of fabric, so we should be good. And then I also have this top that has this like asymmetrical kind of design to it. And I feel like it might be a new go-to going out shirt because it's very flattering like on the waist. Just pair it with some jeans and it, you know, it's not your regular black tank. <laughs> it also has some kind of like texture going on. I don't know if you can see that. Last but not least, we have the blazer. The blazer that I've been having my eye on for so long. I'm actually shocked that it fits so perfectly. Definitely needs to be steamed. I probably should have steamed some of these clothes before I did the video. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got a size media. I cannot get enough of blazers, but I feel like I wear them so often now that every outfit starts to look the same. So I need to find 
different ways to like style them. I'm gonna link everything in the description as well as my Revolve favorites. I swear this is the last fashion segment or whatever you wanna call it in this vlog today. I am just very happy with this outfit. I filmed a little TikTok for frames. So that's where I got this shirt and then the jeans and I paired it with my Amazon sunglasses, my Pullen dupe bag also from DHgate, and I have my Steve Madden sandals on and I feel like it's such a fit. I feel like I've been really stepping up my game lately with like outfits. I feel like I should definitely take a little bit of a break if possible before my grad session because I feel like I'm already gonna be drained after I like finish up filming and like clean everything up. So I need to hydrate too. I feel like my throat is dry and it's very sunny outside. I'm not sure if it's like hot or anything, but I don't want to be dehydrated while I go on my shoot. Just like that, I'm back in my uniform for photo sessions. I'm just in some shorts, a graphic tee, and I think those are Sorel uh, sneakers, but um, I am going to take my camera, I'm vlogging on it now, Make sure I have enough room on this SD card and then also switch the straps. Morning, it is Saturday. I thought I would extend the vlog because I didn't vlog yesterday. Ever since I'm like getting back into the groove of vlogging, I'm telling myself that if I don't want to vlog, then I don't have to, even if I'm doing like a week in my life video and it can turn into like a days in my life vlog. I just don't want to put too much pressure on myself if I'm like not in the mood or if there's like literally nothing to film that day, which was pretty much yesterday because I had my official last grad shoot that was actually at st edwards it's a college near south congress so on thursday i had my last ut shoot so that's why i was like oh it's my official end to grad season um but then i also did a studio shoot yesterday which was super fun i love shooting in a studio i feel like it makes me a little bit more creative because you're like working with a blank space um and then i just had dinner with my friends and took a fat nap because i woke up super super early for that grad shoot um, and just did some admin work. So I just kind of wanted to take a chill day for myself. Um, but today we have some exciting dinner plans. We are going to our favorite sushi place. Well, one of our favorite places here in Austin. It's called Sushi Bar ATX. It's an omakase and it is just so, so good. We've been two times before and it's pretty hard to get a reservation. I think I booked this one like a month out, maybe a little bit more. I can't really remember, but we got a prime timer going on a Saturday at 7.30. I feel like every other time we've booked it, it's been on like a Monday or a Wednesday at 9.30, which honestly the late night reservations are so nice because after they do the omakase, they kind of turn it into like an a la carte if they have time. So you can order like, if you liked this one specific fish, you can order it again, or they'll kind of make something different and kind of surprise you. So I hope, I hope that they do that. Um, for the 7.30 seating, but I'm not really sure because they might boot us out to clean up for the 9.30 slot. But anyways, very, very excited for that. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do during the daytime today. It's pretty freaking windy out there. I just took Sophie out. I'm thinking we're gonna get some breakfast out, maybe like a little chai moment. My hair is not herring today. I might slick it back later tonight. Do you feel better? Do you feel better, Sophie? No. <laughs> Praying that they still have some breakfast tacos. I think it's like 11, so I don't know if that's too late, but. I wanted to try one of their pastries. This is a cardamom cream pillow. I think that's what they called it. So let's give it a try. Oh my god. We got the carnitas and eggs, and I'm so excited for Ryan to try these. He's like breakfast taco king, so let's see what he says. Gotta get the salsa. Not bad. Come on now, give me something a little more. Yay. vibes guys saturday reset ryan <laughs> ryan's cleaning his golf clubs i just uh put away some planted a flower. oh yeah yeah ryan planted our flower in in um the planter i got i put recently washed rugs and vacuumed the floors and bathrooms everything still looks like a mess though <laughs> but i'm gonna do my nails they're looking like this and i was gonna go with natural but they started chipping so i think i might do extensions 
I don't know, we'll see. I kind of want my nails to look like really good for New York, so. I don't know how long that took me. It had to be like maybe around three hours because I didn't have to like remove the gel. I picked my last gel off, so it was ready for me to paint. But I um, tried to do like a Russian manicure and I think I actually did a really good job minus like all of the uh, like redness around my cuticles. There's some blood too, so oops, but that'll go away in like the next day. But like, look how good they look. The combo I did for these was two coats of put in neutral and then one coat of baby take a bow i think that's what it's called so i think they're so cute and i'm kind of sad though because i went really slow with this hand like i always start with you know doing my well using my dominant hand and so i went slow and really thin layers so it turned out like very uh, like sheer and pretty and then this hand <sighs> I did really thick layers and so it just doesn't really look the same like right next to each other if you're like looking in person so that really pissed me off because <laughs> it still took a really long time and I should have just went slower and like been more patient but it's okay from far away it's fine um, but I mean my cuticles like they just look really nice I know I always say this but pretty much like the main reason I started doing my nails is because I was so just over the people at the nail salon not painting all the way up to the cuticles and i feel like now i can do it on my own and i can be really like perfect with it if you guys have wanted to like try to do your own gel at home i highly recommend it because i can't even imagine how much money i've already saved i mean like you do have to purchase you know the gel polish the base coat the top coat and then maybe a drill i do recommend the drill the drill is really not that much more expensive and then just other random things that you'll probably want later down the line um i do have a whole folder on my amazon storefront by the way so i'll link it down below but what i'm trying to say is that i feel like buying all that is still going to be way cheaper in the long run than like getting your nails done every two weeks or something and yeah i'll keep you guys updated on how long these last i feel like my nails last about like three weeks or something and that's not bad it is currently 6 p.m our reservations at 7 30 but we should probably be there at 7 10. i have to run to heb really quick because i have to get more toilet paper we are like literally on the last like square of toilet paper and that's not gonna be fun so i'm gonna go run and just like get random things i know i need like toothpaste toilet paper um i have a list going so I will be back. I'm back with the essentials, of course. These little uh, makeup removers, literally the best. Some vanilla syrup. I think I made the chai in this vlog. I'm not really sure, but I just got a new one that's not sugar-free because, you know, you really only live once. Um, Ryan asked for some Reese's, of course. And then I've never tried these caramel M&Ms, so I just kind of wanted to try them. And then toilet paper, literally the main thing that I had to go to H E B for. Only got the best. We have like 30-ish minutes, I think, till we have to leave, and I still don't really know what I'm gonna wear. Um, but I do have a rent the runway package, so I'll probably wear something out of that. I'm just gonna do some quick curls through my hair. But I am so excited for dinner, and I feel like ever since the last time I went is when I really started liking wasabi. Is this even dang it, I didn't even start it. But the last time I went, they showed us that they were like grating fresh wasabi and I didn't even know that it was like a plant. I had no idea and it was just so interesting. They put a little bit of wasabi like under each nigiri piece. So like under the fish, between the fish and the rice is that little kick of wasabi and it's just so good. Um, 
So every time now I go to sushi, I love eating my sushi with wasabi. But every time I eat sushi, I'm not eating like this nice of sushi. So they apparently use like horseradish in their wasabi like as a substitute so it can be cheaper. Um, and it's just not as good. And so now that I really, really like it, I am going to cry when I like finally have their wasabi. And I'm, I'm curious to see if I can really tell a difference between like the horseradish and the real wasabi, so we'll see, we'll see. We booked some tickets for a comedy show tonight. There's actually a uh, new comedy club on the east side called Roscoe's Comedy Club, I think. I have no idea who this comedian is, but I feel like comedy shows are just so fun. I told Laura that I had a really good time at Comedy Cellar when we were in New York last time, and she went ahead and like booked us some seats for next week comedy sellers. So I'm really excited about that too. I recently went through and deleted so many videos and like photos and stuff because my phone was running out of storage and I got the message again today that my phone was out of storage. I was like, are you kidding me? I just went through, like this cannot be happening. Video is like my job pretty much. And that's so annoying because I wanted to vlog tonight on my phone, which I probably can just delete. A couple more videos and be okay but goodness it is just so annoying because I have the largest like storage on my phone so the fact that I'm hitting max is like not okay I definitely need to clear some things out but it's like if I take videos of like Ladybird Lake let's say what if I could use that video in another TikTok you know you always think oh this could be like repurposed so I don't want to delete it um and I also hate using iCloud, like I actually refuse because then it like has to download when you want to use it and I don't have time for that. I think we're just going to Uber around tonight because everything's like pretty close by. Um, but also our dinner starts at 7.30 and then the comedy show starts at 9. And since it's an omakase, like we can't really eat at our own pace, like it's their pace. So we can't just be like eating fast and then like rushing out, you know what I mean? So we're not really sure what time we're gonna get out of our sushi dinner, but hopefully we'll be able to like get seats at a comedy club. Um, I am meeting my friend Kiana and her boyfriend Jackson, so hopefully they can go and like just save us some seats. This is a lot curlier than I was expecting and wanted, but it's okay, we'll make it work. Here's the outfit. My Run the Runway came in clutch. I was gonna save everything for New York, but I feel like this is perfect for tonight. Um, and I'll just wear the other ones in New York. The other ones are more like sweater vibes and I think it's gonna be cold there. But look how freaking cute the sleeves are. I'm wearing Citizen of Humanity um, jeans. My Dolce Vita heels, which honestly I need to get new like heels. Cause I feel like I always do my Dolce Vita ones, which they're still holding up. I just feel like they look so basic and I want something a little bit more like fancy and unique. Um, and then this top is rented on Rent the Runway. This bag I got at Kohl's, but it's Vera Wang, and how cute does it look with my outfit?